Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I apologize yesterday I could not do live broadcast because my internet is very weak where I am. Uh, now today we have Mr. Maruf and I think Mr. Maruf he keep posting the same thing over and over. And Mr. Maruf with his green glasses uh, look like he is uh, Mr. Green who is going to green your life with his evidence. You know it's really amazing that while we are debating with Muslims if Jesus is God or not same time we are debating with Muslims if Muhammad is the idiot of the village or not I mean think about it the Muslim he spent his day trying to prove to you that Jesus is not God but he could not prove to us anything except saying things does not make sense for simply he is misquoting words in the Bible and we will prove that in a second but he cannot prove to us that example I mean why you want to waste your time and prove to us that Jesus is not God by saying uh, John 530 says that because it doesn't say that people are laughing at you what about you prove to us that Jesus is a sinner the second you prove that you just prove that Jesus is not God or he is a child molester like your prophet or he is a thief like your prophet who was accused of a sin and underwear or he is any did someone who did anything is not ethical if we ask ourselves the same question about Muhammad we will find that Muhammad is not only the idiot of the village he is the idiot of the prison so I am so glad that Muslims are debating us about if Jesus is God or not for they don't even have the courage to say he is not qualified to be the God or what they are saying to you ah, it doesn't make sense he's just a man but what kind of man he is he is the man who commit no sin and this is written in the Quran and in the Bible he is the one who is not only a pure and holy he is the one who have the power of God and this is written in the Bible and in the Quran not only that he is the living God where is that written in the Bible in the Quran until now the Muslims believe that Jesus is alive for 2,000 years where Muhammad is written dead like a rat in his grave so we have a huge uh, let us say amount of evidence that Jesus even by Muslims is qualified to be God you know if we go in the Quran and I will mention some verses in the Quran to show you the stupidity of this book uh, <clears throat> the Quran here as an example it says like as an example not necessarily that Jesus is the Word of God was sent down to Mary now the Muslims have a name for Jesus in case you do not know what is that name exactly let us see uh, let us say, click at any translation you Muslims like all of them they are a bunch of idiots and then we will find here uh, okay that Jesus is a three things in one time or at one at, at the same time he is a man supposedly messenger of Allah which is very funny <clears throat> because Allah the messenger the Allah messengers <clears throat> all of them according to Islam is a bunch of idiots so how come Jesus is there mm, I don't know um, and the proof that messengers of Islam are a bunch of idiots if Muhammad is the best of mankind for Islam so imagine how horrible the team like imagine I go to somebody tell him okay I want to challenge you on something bring me your best and then he bring me Muhammad and then what Muhammad he says okay what are you best about Muhammad he will say I Allah he sent me a dish of shish kebab I ate it I got the power of 40 men what huh hmm I mean imagine a guy he claimed to be prophet of God he's speaking about his sexual power which is not even true power he is a claiming and he claimed that God sent him a dish of shish kebab and the funny the Muslim they say that Allah is God who if he wants something to happen he say be is going to be but Muhammad he said I was the most weak person in sexuality between all mankind and then I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab I ate it I get the power of 40 
Now, yeah, 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 the Muslim will say to you, this is a weak hadith. We can show you tons of hadith. They cannot even say it's weak. But anything will make Muhammad look like the idiot of the prison. They will say to you, it is weak. But here we have the idiot of the Quran saying it clearly. That Jesus is a three in one. He is a messenger, which means a man. And he is the word of God. Which is mean it's eternal. If you ask any Muslim, is, is Jesus created? They will say yes. Okay, is the word of God created? They will say no. Thank you very much. Stupid idiot of the village. Which he bestowed on Mary. So where is the word of God coming from? It's coming from heaven to where to Mary. All right. Okay. So now we have the first thing is he is a man. The second thing he is the word. And now the third thing he is a spirit. But this is spirit is a special. <clears throat> The spirit of Jesus is the spirit of God. Why? Because the Quran is saying in front of you, and a spirit proceeding from him. So it's not spirit created, it's a spirit created by him, it's proceeding by him. Is Muhammad proceeding from Allah? No. Is Musa? No. Is me, you, supposed to? No. Muslim, they would say no. So Jesus is proceeding from God. And you can go check what the dictionary says about the word proceeding. And it's end with I in G, which means continues. So believe in Allah. So now all the purpose of Jesus is to believe in Allah, right? And his messenger. Okay. Now hold on. You see, Allah is the edict of the village, which Aka Muhammad. He said that Jesus can do things no one can do. Uh, if we go here, let us go first to, 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 the, to the Quran. And we will switch to Arabic. We will see the Quran saying Read with me carefully Chapter 3 verse number 49 You can read any stupid translation From the Yellow Pages book It says here uh, That Jesus is appointed to the children of Israel which is very stupid of the Quran to say hmm. because if Jesus was appointed to the children of Israel then how his book is called in the Quran in Jeel which is a Greek word so imagine I am an Arab and I am appointed to the Arab and then my book it's called the book of Latino ah, I means this is really ridiculous the stupid Muhammad, he heard the word Injil, he took it, he spoke about it, and he claimed that Allah, he sent a book, it's called the Injil. Oh, who, who? It's called the Injil. Why Allah speaking Greek? <laughs> the edict of the village. But anyway, if we go back here, you will see that he is a messenger to the children of Israel. And he says, I come to you with signs from your Lord. So the Muslim, they will say, those signs are from Allah. Thank you very much. And if you go here, you will see that uh, this Muslim, he's saying that, well, you know, Jesus, he do nothing of his own. Uh, you know, by myself, I do nothing. The Quran says, Jesus by himself do nothing. So like, there is a match, right? Mm. Jesus here is speaking of something very important that the man in front of you can do nothing but the word of God which is mentioned in the Quran as we showed you he is the word of God and he is the spirit of God according to the Quran I'm not talking about the Bible right now is the one is capable of doing things otherwise the man he can do nothing when, when a man he resurrect from the death a man who is alive who is the one is doing that? Is that the man, Jesus, the flesh? Or this is the word of God and the spirit of God and God himself in that flesh? For sure it's God. So it's what Jesus is saying. So read here with me carefully. Jesus said, I have to come to you with, uh, uh, with uh, signs or miracles from your Lord that I can. I mean, I like it when Jesus, he says, I can. I wish Muhammad once he was able to say, I can. The edict of the village, he can do nothing. Have you ever seen Muhammad doing anything? Nothing. All the fiction stories Muslim they have in the hadith, 
can be destroyed easy in the Quran. Why? Because the Quran says that Allah he refrained from sending miracles. Not only that, the God of Islam he said to them, "Well, if you are waiting for miracles, you know, hello, you better wait." What? Have you ever heard of uh, of such a such a religion like this? In this verse in front of us, we will find the funny Muhammad because he cannot do any miracles he made this verse and what this is verse saying chapter 10 verse number 20 let us read together and laugh they say why not a sign sent down to him from his Lord say which means who is the one saying say Allah mm -hmm. the unseen is only for Allah to know then wait ye, I too will wait with you. <laughs> to make it simple for the slow Muslims, imagine I claim to be a prophet, and then I tell you, hold on, hold on, I receive a verse from Allah. And he just said to me, well, they are saying, why this guy, Christian friends, don't have miracles? I say, Allah told me to say to you, wait. Uh, come on wait and I will wait with you and the people are waiting and the funny here the Muslims are saying the Quran is a miracle if the Quran is a miracle why Allah did not say in this verse you do not need to wait you just been delivered the verse actually by saying those statements I just made a miracle <laughs> you know what I mean it's like saying to you I'm going to give you a book it's a miracle and then in this book I say to you wait for a miracle Hmm. Huh? Uh -huh. Ah, garbage in, garbage out. Then we find in different verse in the Quran, Allah make him more poo, poo as usual. And here when we speak about Allah, we speak about Muhammad. So we find here, as an example, <coughs> the fufu of the Quran saying, وما منعنا أن نرسل بالآيات إلا أن كذب بها الأولون. Chapter 17, verse number 59. What does that mean? Let us see and laugh. You know, you hear that some countries like France always they have a strike, always every few days. Allah always is a strike, not only every few days. Never go to work. And we refrain from sending signs only because the men of former generations treated them as false. Mm -hmm. And Allah start counting now. Look, I have signs before. Do you hear about the she camel? What she camel, you idiot? This is a legend, stupid story about a rock who gave birth to a camel. Hello. But Allah, He claimed that He is the one who did that, which has never happened anyway. Our, the people of the mood, uh, you know, or, so He's counting for us things He did in the past. Okay, the one who did things in the past, which is fiction stories, legions of many nations before us now. Why now he refrained? I mean, what happened? And former generation, they treated them as false. That's stupid. That's a lie. Because even the Quran mentioned those specific miracles as the people, they believe in them. They believe in the guy who made this miracle. And, you know, uh, when he did she camel and they tried to start drinking the milk and then they killed the camel. It's a stupid story. But however, as an example, the former generation, which is the former? Shouldn't that be the Jews and the Christians? Hmm. The Jews, the majority of them, they became a Christian already. What is left, this is why the Jews are a small in number. What is left is the one who reject. So we judge the majority, or I mean what happened by the majority or by the minority. All the Christians and those Jews believe in every miracle written in the Bible. So what is this excuse here? Why all the messenger of God before Muhammad never said? Oh, because you always accuse us of lies, so we will not make miracles for you or refrain. Because simply here, Muhammad is an idiot of the village trying to give an excuse why he is a prophet with no prophecy without a miracle. Then we continue. The Muslim Abdul here, when he said, uh, in John, said that he do nothing of his own. You know, if I take now this verse and try to find it in the Bible or to read it for this person or this verse John 14 28 or John 8 40 we will find that every chapter he chose for us 
is proving that chapter alone is enough to prove that Jesus is God then you see here the is putting from uh, posting from acts suddenly the Muslim they accept acts and they like acts and they like Paul you know whatever Paul he says is good for them so if we go and read what Paul written about Jesus you will see in every sentence he spoke of is speaking as Jesus of God as he is God so let us go as an example John 8 40 let us go to John you know and see what the Muslim here is trying to say read with me Abdul what John 8 saying to you you see you like John 40 but I think you will not like John 41 42 43 because all of those are proving that Muhammad is a liar how we knew that if you read here you will see that uh, they are they start speaking about Abraham right away in the verse after and then Jesus said to them before Abraham was I am now you can read the whole uh, uh, verses here the, the Jews they said to him like you claim that Abraham uh, you know he saw your day what do you mean how, how he can see your day you are not even 50 years old uh, read with me carefully then the Jews said to him you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham how that can happen see what Jesus is saying here that Abraham he witnessed him he saw him and Jesus he saw Abraham hmm and the Jews they said to him what how could you you are not even 50 years old you are a young man how you can do that Jesus said to them most assur uh, uh, assuredly I say to you before Abraham I am so the same chapter Abdul you are quoting for me is saying that Jesus is claiming to be eternal he has exist in the time of Abraham he exists before Abraham he has exist after Abraham that is the Messiah <clears throat> but you because you are Abdul like your father Muhammad and the child molester you only took a sentence and you want to make a story of it it's like you know a Muslim he says to us oh some people they say the Quran says pray not but this is not what the Quran says continue the sentence you know yeah this is true so continue the sentence and you will see that you are in a deep deep uh, Quran I don't want to use that word in the you know in this time uh, I don't like to use it actually but the Quran use it I mean the Quran is a book of madness and stupidity so when a Muslim he tried to prove to us to make it simple that Jesus is not God the Muslim he accomplished nothing except after all of this he proved to us that Jesus is a qualified to the point that people can be confused if he is God or not and Muhammad is the idiot of the village that people they are not confused if he is a good man or not there is no doubt that Muhammad is a scumbag a person who go after children a person who like to have sex with the children a person who encourage people to have sex with the children a person who involved himself in a very horrible act how he can be anything good how good can come from evil and this is an example of Muhammad the devil you know the devil Muhammad he always expose himself you see the devil always he come to you with evil thought and I want to challenge any Muslim to tell me if this is an evil thought or not a man his name is Jabir and he is he was doing attack to the neighbors with Muhammad because Muhammad is what he do for a living he attacked the neighbors steal their money steal their women and he raped them Abdullah died and left for him behind him seven daughters I married a woman who had been previously married Allah messenger said to me Jabir have you married I said yes he again said which mean Muhammad a virgin or previously married he went Muhammad he went a good put his nose in the vagina of the wife I mean what is the business of a prophet of God to ask such a stupid question this guy he is married legally he have the right to marry women who they are widowed or divorced they have the right to marry in Islam so what the problem 
there is a problem for Muhammad is a stinky scumbag he is a filthy man he is the devil I said after he asked him ah is she a virgin or a previously married you know, remember here the word virgin is about what happened to the vagina specifically so the concern of Muhammad is what is the private part of this woman is it being used before or brand new with the wax he said the man I am married whereupon he said which means Muhammad why why man why don't you marry a young girl <laughs> why you don't marry a young girl look at the devil that is the devil imagine you are married to a woman you love her and she love you and actually the hadith confirmed that this man is in a rush to meet her because obviously he like her very much if he don't love her now Muhammad the devil is whispering but in loud voice this time in the form or uniform of a prophet of God giving advice this is a clinic advice of Dr. Muhammad who knows what is better for you so he is advising the person who is happily married from a good woman supposedly saying to him you idiot you idiot why you don't go and look for a young child so you can be a scumbag like me huh look at this why don't you marry a child the young girl here represent the child you see the Muslim translation trying to hide the truth so that you could sport with her look how he tempt him sport with her I mean I marry a child to sport with her he didn't say love you love her have a family look what his logic is his logic is the logic of the devil or what he is talking about you know how you can have better pleasure as a man he don't care about this poor woman who is going to be divorced now and lose her husband and lose her family I mean what she did nothing but the devil Muhammad he want to give you an advice so why you don't marry a young child who you can sport with her you can molest her and so she could you could amuse her and she could amuse you Ooh, what as a devil can do more than this go and read all the statement of Jesus about marriage how Jesus make it sure that a man and women when they get married should not be going through divorce unless there is certain like cheating or you know so here Muhammad is just asking the guy to exchange his wife for nothing except temptation temptation abusing the woman who married this man because what the what, what the fault of this woman to be divorced now just because the prophet advised the husband to have a young child as wife so she amuse him yes for this is the mentality of the child molester so why we are debating if Jesus is God or not we cannot debate if Muhammad is a child molester or not the idiot or not or the devil or not because this is devilish this is from the devil this is cannot be from God and the man who Muhammad trying to seduce him to marry children he said to him well you know I need a woman not a girl why because I have a bunch of children too at the home from my brother to take care of them so if I marry a child I have now instead of having seven children to take care I have eight children so I had to marry a woman a real woman look at the logic of this Muslim and look at the logic of the faith in Muhammad I hope we answer the Muslims about what they say and my answer is very simple every chapter of what you said here I don't have time to cover them all I'm not doing a live broadcast and loading videos will take very long here uh, every chapter you quote for us is speaking of Jesus being God every single one of them people worship Jesus people believe <clears throat> that he is the Word of God people believe that he is the amazing uh, 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 you know I don't know what to say I mean there's everything about Jesus everything about Jesus is beyond imagination he's perfect in holiness 
is perfect in ethical is perfect in miracles I mean name one thing Jesus can do and Allah can do nothing Jesus can do everything Allah can do nothing can Allah raise a man from death never happened there's no proof of it except Muhammad claiming that the miracle of Jesus is the miracle of Allah but how come Muhammad could not get any of the miracle of Jesus can't Allah take one miracle of Jesus and give it to Muhammad just one huh just one what about take one of those look how many I mean why Jesus need all those miracles what about making Muhammad give eyes for the blind man when the blind man came to Muhammad what Muhammad he did Muhammad he kicked his ass and he kicked him out of his house hmm? if you go in the Quran you will find the edict of the village Muhammad saying as an example there's a chapter it's called the chapter of Abasa Abasa Watawalla chapter 80 verse number one what is that it's about a guy who is a blind man he came to Muhammad and Muhammad kicked his ass of the home because you know he is busy with the rich men according to the interpretation so look how Jesus made the blind man see and look how Muhammad he kicked the man out of his house for interrupting him interrupting about what the blind man keeps saying tell me about Allah tell me about Allah so the guy if Muhammad is explaining to the Muslim to the sorry the, the, the Arab about Allah here we go a guy is asking you it's the same topic It's not interrupting tell him what Allah is but because he's a poor man Muhammad he kick him out and then people start talking about the faithy Muhammad behavior how he was rude how he kicked out a man who is a blind so Muhammad made a verse saying well Allah he said to me you should not do that so even the Quran proved that Muhammad ethical is very filthy how you kick out how you can be rude with a blind man poor man who cannot even reach his way he is homeless he hardly can make can, can make living you know when I say homeless I don't mean like you don't have a home at that time everybody is I means life is simple but he is very poor very poor how you can be rude for him coming to you question about God you want to join Islam supposedly but Muhammad for his interest is the rich people Muhammad he worship one God that is his penis number two is money thank you very much for listening please share the video and I hope soon I will load another one and I hope soon I will get better internet so I can do a live broadcast again thank you and God bless take care Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that